Okay, so um, rope tricep push down. Now, with this exercise, it, it does again depend on your anatomy. And sometimes a lot of these ropes, a single rope, we use two ropes, um, but you can get away with a single rope and it depends how far we can extend. So I gain most of my access to my triceps in the f when it's fully extended, but it's about this far apart. A lot of ropes aren't gonna reach that far. So sometimes we'll use two ropes. And Ruby's a good example of this because again, she ends up coming a bit too short when we use a single rope. But when we use two ropes, she gets a, um, a, a full sh um, contraction, which you get the, again, the fully shortened position of the tricep with our shoulders back here. So what we need to do is we need to keep our elbows locked into our side, okay? From there, she can extend out. Now she's got way more range than you would with a single tricep. That will say there, stretch, stretch, get that length and then extend. Good, stretch, 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 and then extend. Again, you can see the tempo here over, over two to three seconds on the way up, focusing on the stretch at the end and then extend, squeeze for a second, get the full, get the full range of motion. One thing we don't wanna do is try to like bring our elbows too far forward or gain momentum from our back that you can see here when her elbows come forward. But again, to get full access to our triceps, we'll keep them locked into our sides and then extend. So try with two ropes, you'll find there'll be a lot more tricep, um, tricep involvement.